mornings. Something that we all really struggle with until we actually get up. And then, then the world is ours. So what I like to do at the beginning of my day is just sit down with a good cup of coffee and just go through all my company emails making sure that I'm up to date with all the work I'm doing for today and then just kind of very briefly plan out my day making sure I kind of prioritize everything that's really important for me to do. Now, working remotely is great. You can work by your desk, you can work in bed, you can work in another country, you can work in your car, as long as you have an internet connection. A lot of people don't realize, but whatever software engineering job you have and wherever you work, you end up sitting in one place for a very long period of time. That can get quite unhealthy. I try to vary it up and make sure that I'm not always constantly sitting. So what I'm going to do now is walk over to the city center, find a really nice cafe to work at, and I'll see you guys there. I tend to have very busy days, which means I need to split my workout into smaller chunks, which are more manageable for myself. When I started working for Cisco as an intern, I was always given a huge amount of responsibility, which was amazing for me, but could also become overwhelming very quickly. Since then I've learned to take everything that I do one step at a time to make it more manageable. I work on an open source project, which is very difficult, so this is exactly the approach I was taking today. A lot of the time of remote work you can really easily backtrack, meaning you don't really end up doing the work that you are supposed to, because in the end you are under your own supervision, and therefore you may become too lenient with yourself. That's why to avoid that I try to complete as much of my work in the early morning, because the later I leave things, the harder it gets for me to focus. So I'm almost home. I did most of my work at that cafe. Um, it had a really good vibe and good internet. So that was a plus. And now I'm gonna get home and probably chill out for a bit. Another thing to add, who hates winter? It's dark already and it's literally not even 5 p.m. yet. So I just came back home, I've eaten, made some good food and it's approaching about 7 p.m. and at 7 p.m. I usually have my meeting. So I'm going to jump on a call with some of my team back in San Jose, California and we're basically going to have a scrum, uh, which means we're going to discuss, you know, what we did yesterday, what we did today and if we have any problems that we're facing and just our general progress. Just about to take my call. Hey guys, how are you doing? I'm doing great as always. 
<laughs> yeah, so uh, today uh, I continued working with, um, I didn't have any issues, um, um, <laughs> yeah, um, yeah, so that's basically everything from me for today. Alright guys, see you later, see you tomorrow, bye. Now that everything is done, it's time to jump in bed and watch a movie. So I have almost forgotten, if you guys enjoyed this video, make sure you hit the thumbs up button and make sure you subscribe down below to check out all my latest releases because I've got some really good stuff coming up and you don't want to miss them. So thank you guys very much for watching Day in the Life of a Software Engineer and I'll see you in the next video.